Milan, today I will be doing simple calculations involving profit, loss, discount, and VAT. I will start with the theory. The aim of starting a business is to generate profits. And when you calculate your profit, profit is equal to income minus expenses, where your income must always be greater than expenses for you to get profit. If your income is less than your expenses, then you will incur what we call a loss. So when expenses are greater than income, you get a loss. So loss is equals to income minus expenses, but then you end up having a negative answer. You must just know that now we have made a loss. Profit is still the same, income minus expenses. If your answer is positive, then you have made a profit. Let us look at this example here. The business generated income amounting to 60,000 and the total expenses for the year amounted to 40,500. How much profit has the business generated? You need to remember, profit is equals to income minus expenses. Income is 60,000, expenses 40,500, Basically, your profit will be 60,000 minus 40,500. And 60,000 minus 40,500 will give you 19,500. Now, we will be finding percentages. How do we find a percentage? I will start with simple calculations or simple summaries, okay? 100% is the same as 100 divided by 100, which is just one. 90% is the same as 90 divided by 100, which is 0 0,9. 20% it is the same as 20 divided by 100, which is 0 0,2. Now let us do these example one. Find 10% of 210,000. How do we find it? Off means multiply. Basically you will take 210,000 multiplied by 10%. I just showed you now, a percentage is the same as though you're multiplying by 10 over 100. And 10 over 100 of 210,000 will be 21,000. Or you can go straight to it by putting it into the calculator like this. Take 210, times it by 10, shift, percentage, you will get 21,000. Okay, that's how you will get a percentage. Now, Example two, increase 150 by 5%. Firstly, you need to find the value of that 5%. What is 5% 5 of 150? You will take 150 times it by 5%. 5% 5 is the same as 5 divided by 100. 150 times 5 divided by 100 will give you 750. To increase that 150, you will take the 750, add it with the 150. 150 plus 750, 750 will give you 157,5. Or you can simply use this formula here. When you increase an amount by a percentage, you just take that percentage increase, you add it to 100%. Here I took the 150 and I multiplied it by an increased amount of percentage. So that 150 is increasing from 100%, which is the 150 itself, but it's increasing. The percentage increase that we are adding to that 100% is 5%. So you will simply take 100% plus percentage increase. Where there's percentage increase, you substitute 5% because it has increased by 5% you will find 105% of 150. 
105% of 150 will give you 157,5. It's your choice. It's either you use the first method I used or you use this one. I would advise you to use this one because it's quite straightforward. You just take the amount, the value that has been increased, you multiply it by 100% plus the percentage increase. As I've said, the percentage increase here is 5%. That is why I took 100% and I added it with 5% and it gave me 105%. And when you multiply 150 with 105%, you will get 157,5. How do we decrease 1,200 by 20%? You will first find 20% of 1,200. And 20% 20 of 1,200 is the same as 1,200 times 20 divided by 100. Put that into your calculator, it will give you 240. Then you will take that 1,200 and subtract 240. 1,200 minus 240 will give you 960. Oh, you use this method here. Because we are decreasing, look at the percentage increase. It's now minus the percentage decrease. So you will simply take the 1,200, which is the value that we are decreasing. You multiply it by 100% minus the percentage decrease. How much is the percentage decrease? The percentage decrease is 20%. So it will be 100 minus 20%. And 100 minus 20% will be 80%. So 1,200 times 80% will give you 960. <clears throat> Classwork. Please do these. Check the solutions in the next video. Hold on.